Hey folks, what's up? Long time no see. Welcome back to your Hux Minis. Just have a short video to show you today. It's not exactly the video I planned on showing you, as the SD card that I was recording to completely took a crap and I could not retrieve a single file off it. But thankfully, some of the other creators provided some footage for everyone to use. So let's get right to it. Despite our current political climate, and despite the fact that I'm a little bit late, hope everybody had a great Pride Month, and there are so many great ways to celebrate and show your support for the LGBT plus community. You can attend a parade, support a charity, or participate in an artistic collaboration like this one, organized by Fiverr over at Sugar Candy Managers. Pride Month means different things to different people. For example, painting a model using the colors of a pride flag you identify with can be very powerful and affirming. For this collaboration, the theme we've chosen to represent pride is belonging. No matter who you are, where you are, or how you identify, we wanted to create an army that celebrates and includes you. Yes, you, the person watching this video. One of the many interesting things about Warhammer's Gloomspite Gits goblins is that they tend to travel in hordes. What that means is, even with our combined collaborative resources, there's still plenty of room left for even more goblins. Everyone who took part in this collaboration got the same prompt that you are getting right now. Clowns. That's it. No color limitations, no specific paints, just clowns. Now I personally hate clowns. So I was kind of hesitant to join in on this collaboration, but who can say no to Fiverr? And I also think it's very important to show your support as an ally. So considering my dislike of clowns, I decided not to go for a traditional Western style clown. Instead, I painted my goblin as one of the clown characters from traditional Chinese opera. The clown characters in Chinese opera aren't your typical clowny clown clown clowns. They're more meant to represent a dullard or a villain. In my case, I decided to go with Jiang Gan, who falls into the latter category. Jiang Gan is best known for his attempt to persuade Zhou Yu, a general serving under the warlord Sun Quan, to defect to Sun Quan's rival Cao Cao after the Battle of Red Cliffs in the winter of 208 to 209. For these types of clowns, there's a special makeup that they use called Xiao Hua Lian. Basically means small, painted face. It's basically a white patch around the center of the face with a dark area below the nose and on the upper lip. So I think you can see looking at how this army turned out with all the models being painted by different people that even when we have different styles, different personalities, different thoughts and different ideas, we can all come together to lift each other up and make something great. Be sure to check out Fiverr at Sugar Candy Miniatures for their video about doing all the basing. Together we've put together an army that anyone can join. An army of clowns to make people smile. We invite you to join us. Paint up your own model and share it with the world. Post it with the hashtag ClownGabos and Fiverr will share their favorites on social media. So thanks for watching everybody and I will see you in the next video.